Hello, hi, welcome back to the new lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the microcontrollers and the microprocessors. The differences between microcontrollers and the microprocessor. We will also look at the role of the microcontrollers into the embedded system and also we will provide some criteria on how to choose a microcontroller. So let's first understand what is the general purpose microprocessor systems and what is the microcontroller. In a microprocessor system, we have a CPU, which is a part of the microcontroller, uh, which is part of a system. Let's say here we have a CPU. So CPU is also known as uh, uh, the microprocessor. And then we have here the external RAM. We have here the external ROM. We have external input and the output ports. We have here a timer. We have here a timer. Let me uh, show you in a different way. We have here timers. We have here serial com. And every other peripherals and all these peripherals are connected with the data bus and the address bus so let's say here we have a bus which contains address and the data bus together let's say then we can connect it so this is overall architecture of a microprocessor but in contrast to this microprocessor microcontroller contains everything in a system itself that means microcontroller contains its cpu microcontroller contains its timer microcontroller contains its input and output ports it contains its ram it contains its rom it's contains its serial com let's say and other peripherals in a single chip itself so here this is known as a micro controller but here this is known as a microprocessor so here you can understand what's the difference between microcontroller and microprocessor in, in a microprocessor you need to add all these peripherals and also you have here an advantage to change these peripheral size according to your needs but in microcontrollers all these peripherals are fixed okay once the microcontroller has been built and it is uh, manufactured by the manufacturer then the programmer cannot change any of these peripherals so in a microcontroller everything is already fixed so the, what we can say, the microcontrollers can be used into a small system. So the microcontroller is a part of small systems. However, the microprocessor is a part of large system. Okay, and the microcontrollers and and the microcontrollers uh, enable system do only some specific type of task. A specific task that is the fixed number of tasks and it do the large number of tasks large number of tasks apart from that there are a lot of other differences between microcontroller and general purpose microprocessor so here what is the example of a microcontroller 8051 is a microcontroller, 8951 is a microcontroller, AVR is a microcontroller, R is a microcontroller and also it has a microprocessor. So what you can say in ARM, ARM is a kind of hybrid you can say. So ARM is also microprocessor and also microcontroller since ARM has a 
many other type of uh, processors which is comes into the category of microcontrollers as well as a micro processors and in the microprocessor of course we have uh, intel we have amd we have apple chips we have here uh, uh, qualcomm processors we have here the broadcom processors and of course we have arm processor so this comes into a micro processor systems right so now the question is what is the uh, uh, the use of the microcontrollers the microcontroller can be used in various fields such as home appliances communications telephone security systems answering machine fax machines home computers etc everywhere that means the smart home systems the office automobiles uh, smart cities agriculture healthcare anywhere you want to use your uh, embedded product products you need to use a microcontroller since the microcontrollers are highly efficient okay so you can say it is very efficient okay so the moreover here i am going to um, i'm going to do a comparison between microprocessors and the microcontroller so here we have a table of a comparison of a microprocessor and a microcontroller so the first you see here we have a microprocessor and uh, then we have a microcontroller okay right so you see here the microprocessor is a heart of a computer system but the microcontroller is a heart of embedded system the microprocessor is just a processor you have to add memory input output and the other peripherals externally but in a microcontroller these peripherals are already uh, manufactured with the microprocessor so what you can say here the microcontroller the microcontroller contains the microprocessor since the cpu is a part of microprocessor okay right so in the microprocessor as you know as you know the other peripheral circuitry such as this circuitry you need to connect externally that's mean it makes a larger circuit but in a microcontroller everything is internally present so the circuit is small microprocessor cannot be used into a compact system hence it is inefficient and consumes more power while microcontroller consumes less power and it is very efficient for a small task in a microprocessor enabled systems is very costly but microcontroller enabled systems are very low cost due to the external components presents into the microprocessor it is not suitable to use for device running in stored power like like batteries and it's really high power consuming device but the microcontroller systems best suited for battery powered these systems most of the micro processors do not have power saving features but almost all type of microcontrollers have a ultra low power features since the memory and the input output components are all external each instructions will be we will need to external operations that's mean each instruction has to be fetched from the external memory that's mean the overall operation will be the relatively so but in the microcontroller the memory and the other peripherals are present in a chip itself that's mean fetching the instruction from the memory will not take much time that's mean it is efficient and its speed increases ultimately it do fast operation microprocessor have less number of registers hence more operations are memory based but in the microcontrollers it uses it uses more number of registers that's mean it can improve it can improve uh, the cpu operations and it needs less memory access hence it improves the speed microprocessor most of the microprocessors are based on the von neumann model architecture where program and the data where the program and the data is stored into the same memory module but the most of the microcontroller almost all type of microcontrollers are based on the harvard architecture where the program memory and the data memory are separated that's mean the microcontroller can 
fetch the program memory and the data memory uh, the data from the program memory and the data memory simultaneously the microprocessors mainly used into personal computers and the large systems but the microcontrollers used into the battery powered devices and mp3 players and the small systems which is which have a power constraints and the space constraints as well so this is overall uh, overall comparison between the microprocessors and the microcontrollers i hope this uh, comparison would definitely help you to understand the, what is the difference between microprocessors and the microcontroller thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day